Welcome to the Prepper Almanac. In the 2008 film Gran Torino, Clint Eastwood's character, Walt Kowalski, shows his young neighbor, Tao, his workshop. When the boy laments that he'll never be able to collect so many tools, Kowalski pulls out just three items, WD-40, vice grips, and duct tape. Any man worth his salt can do half the household chores with just those three things, Kowalski tells the boy. We can't disagree. And those three items definitely made our list of multi purpose items you should have on hand for an emergency. We know you've seen many lists of foods and supplies to stockpile for an emergency. However, these lists can be daunting in terms of the amount of money it takes to purchase them and the space required to store them. One of the best ways to lower the impact of both concerns is to focus on multi purpose items. Let's look at a few potentially life saving examples. Some of the things on our list literally have dozens of uses, from hygiene to weaponry and from hunting to keeping warm and dry. Baking soda You probably have a carton or two of baking soda in your pantry or in the back of your refrigerator. That's because baking soda, also called bicarbonate of soda or sodium bicarbonate, is a common baking ingredient and works as a deodorizer. But did you know this light, fluffy powder also has dozens of other uses? Here are just a few of the reasons you should stockpile this inexpensive product. 1. You can use it as toothpaste or mouthwash. 2. It soothes bee stings and insect bites. 3. It relieves sunburn pain and rashes. 4. You can use it as an underarm deodorant. Dental floss. Here's another item you already have in your home. But it's time to bulk up your supply of this dental hygiene product. In addition to helping you clean between your teeth, dental floss has the following survival uses. 1. Fishing line. 2. Shoelaces. 3. Woven together to make a rope. 4. Thread. Pantyhose. Lightweight, strong, and washable, pantyhose can do much more than serve as ladies' stockings. Here are a few survival uses for nylon pantyhose. 1. Insect netting. 2. Face mask. 3. Pouch. 4. Water filter. 5. Tourniquet. Super glue you know how to use this product made of synthetic polymers to repair broken household items. But did you know it has a potentially life-saving purpose? You can use it in an emergency to close small wounds and protect the area until new skin forms. Trash bags. Plastic garbage bags, especially the heavy-duty kind, have myriad uses other than their intended purpose. Here are just a few of them. Backpack cover in a rainstorm makeshift poncho. 3. Mattress or pillow protector. 4. Ground layer for your sleeping bag. 5. Rainwater container. Here is a list of 101 multi-purpose items preppers should stockpile now. 1. Activated charcoal. 2. Alcohol. 3. Altoids tins. 4. Aluminum cans. 5. Aluminum foil. 6. Ammo cans. 7. Aspirin. 8. Axes slash hatchets. 9. Baby wipes. 10. Baking soda. 11. Bandanas. 12. Ball caps. 13. Bed sheets. 14. Bleach. 15. Bobby pins. 16. Borax. 17. Buckets. 18. Bungee cords. 19. Candle wax. 20. Carabiners. 21. Cardboard tubes. 22. Cat litter. 23. Chapstick. 24. Charcoal. 25. Chocolate. 26. Cigarettes. 27. Clothes pins. 28. Coconut oil. 29. Coffee filters. 30. Coffee grounds. 31. Condoms. 32. Cooking oil. 33. Cornstarch. 34. Cotton balls. 35. Crisco. 36. Dental floss. 37. Diapers. 38. Dish soap. 39. Drinking straws. 40. Dryer lint. 41. Duct tape. 42. Epsom salts. 43. Flashlights. 44. Food storage containers. 45. Frisbees. 46. Garlic. 47. Glass bottles. 48. Glow sticks. 49. Hand sanitizer. 
50. Honey. 51. Hydrogen peroxide. 52. Knives. 53. Lipstick. 54. Mirrors. 55. Mosquito netting. 56. Mouthwash. 57. Multi-tools. 58. Mylar blankets. 59. Nail polish. 60. Nail polish remover. 61. Olive oil. 62. Pantyhose. 63. Paper clips. 64. Paracord. 65. Pencils. 66. Pill bottles. 67. Plastic grocery bags. 68. Plastic bottles and jugs. 69. Plastic sheeting. 70. Plastic shower curtains. 71. Ponchos. 72. PVC pipes. 73. Q-tips. 74. Rope. 75. Rubbing alcohol. 76. Safety pins. 77. Salt. 78. Sanitary pads and tampons. 79. Sandbags. 80. Sandpaper. 81. Silica gel packets. 82. Smartphones. 83. Soap. 84. Socks. 85. Steel wool. 86. Sugar. 87. Super glue. 88. T-shirts. 89. Tarps. 90. Trash bags. 91. Vaseline. 92. Vice grips. 93. White vinegar. 94. Watches. 95. WD-40. 96. Witch hazel. 97. Wire coat hangers. 98. Wood ashes. 99. Wool blankets. 100. Zip ties. 101. Ziploc bags. As severe weather events become more commonplace and geopolitical events continue to teeter on a precarious edge, it is not only adventurers who may face survival scenarios. A Virginia woman who only gives her first name, Christina, has faced three major hurricanes this century. She shares some of her advice on the National Weather Service website focused on hurricane preparation. I have been through three major hurricanes that tore up my area of Virginia pretty badly, Christina writes. I do not play with these storms. Do not think just because you're not taking a direct hit that it can't be destructive. Prepare ahead of time. Buy lots of water, fill up large buckets with water to flush toilets, buy batteries, charcoal to cook food, table sandwiches food like peanut butter and jelly will help too. Always have paper plates and plastic utensils. Get baby wipes for personal hygiene for everyone, not just babies. Fill your vehicles up with gas, and remember your pets. Get extra pet food, litter, etc. Get your prescription and over-the-counter medicines ahead of time. And don't forget you need a NOAA weather radio when the power goes out to stay on top of things. Be prepared to be self-sustaining for days because you will be without power for days and possibly stranded for days. Do not ever wait until the last minute to gather supplies, and if they tell you to evacuate, then do it. Conclusion Every family's needs are a little bit different, depending on the size and the age range of your family members. The type of emergency will determine the supplies you may need as well. However, you can cut down on the number of items you need by gathering as many multi-purpose items as you can. What multi-purpose items would you add to our list? As we wrap up today's video, if you have any questions or if there are any topics that you would like discussed in the future, let us know in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel to learn more about prepping and share the video with others that may have a passion for prepping or are curious about prepping in general. Thanks for watching the Prepper Almanac.